Well, I just got home from picking up some stuff at Granger's. I'll show you what it was in a minute. I got a phone call from a guy while I was on the road. He's getting ready to bring me some lawnmower blades. And some kitchen knives. And then I had another lady call while I was out. She's going to bring me a lawnmower blade and some grass trimmers. Uh, I shouldn't say she's going to bring them. She's going to drop them off at my uh, hot dog store where I pick up things. It's a drop-off point. i got to pick them up tomorrow. Now, he doesn't want these back till either Saturday or, I'm not sure, after Saturday. And I think that the noise you hear is my dog's barking. The, the guru is coming over. He's got some kind of problems with his ex cow. He said, get my solder and iron out. Hello. Come on in, Guru. Hey, Mike, Jack. Guru. Jack, what are you doing? Bring that thing in here. Let's take a look at her. Little Guru's wires are busted. Inside this piece right here, he didn't have this very loose. Tight. And you see, it was loose. See, it was wiggling. And he just busted the wires off. Stand by. I know means. Yeah. Well, we got the guru fixed up. It's two thirty. The tide is killing us. We got to hurry if we're gonna make it. The guy came in with the knives. There's another one in there, and twelve lawnmower blades. Three, no, two sets, wait a minute, three sets of brand spanking new ones. Why you got to do that? He wants them razor sharp. A lot of people like them razor sharp, believe it or not. They cut grass better than they ain't on rocks around. Yeah. All right, hey, but you don't want to back to 30, so I got plenty of time. It's really blowing, about 20 in Guston, south, southeast, I think it is. Maybe southwest, I don't remember. Okay, stand by. We'll see what happens. Well, those are not even really bad either. No. All right, here I am in this damn farmer, I mean this damn five millimeter. Whacked off, baby. Stand by. Tie's gonna be tight. Pretty windy. Load all the trash cans over. Hold on, stand by. One thing, the damn wind has blowed the tide out of here. It's a lot lower than it was yesterday. Six inch cool on, but it's rocks. Rocks over that way. I may have to try it right here to, for a minute or two. Well, the first target's a 1210. Look at that iron. I don't see no 1210s. I don't see anything that resembles a 1210. Dump it out there and see if it's back in there. No. But try it one more time. It's still in there. Stand by a minute. 
Well, there it is. I swivel off on one of them little swivels. You know the double end fishing swivel? You little sucker, you. Now we got a 1209. Stand by while I peer around in there a little. Second quarter I got. Looks like 40 to me. I'm guessing Penny. 12-14. Got two scoops off of it. It's a five meter scent. See it right there. I got her in the tack mode, the brass tack mode. I can't get her out. I found some little teeny tacks today. Unbelievable. Brass tack mode. Come on, baby. Get out of that mode. You can see the water's not very clear today. I got an outer bar right here. I'm rocking a little slough, you know, we're the same place I was yesterday. So I got Junior with me. Stand by. This is where the big rocks live over here. You see them? Big rocks. Big ass storm coming too, it looks like. I might have to get out of the land of opportunity here and get, to, get back to Rancho Max. I just decided to come on this side just to see what's over here. Grassy. Stand by. I dug a uh, old key right there in that hole right there. And I swung back over the hole, and there's a buffalo nickel in there with that key. In bad shape, though. Thin too. Well, it looks like tomorrow is going to be a knife day. You saw all them lawnmower blades, those knives. Well, about a half hour ago on my way home, as soon as I got in my truck, I got a call. Guy wanted me to show off with a big old axe. I just left his house. I'll show you to you when I get home. It's not in too bad a shape, considering some of the axes that I see. Okie dokie. It has some sprinkles on the way home, but uh, nothing has uh, occurred other than a few sprinkles. While well, we still have some daylight, not in too bad a shape, you know, for some I pick up. Okay, give me uh, the goal on my mower blades tomorrow. Well, I came home, it looked like Christmas at my front door. Uh, this is a set of Allen wrenches, but I had to spend twenty-five dollars. I was after a uh, chuck for my—it's the drill chuck for my uh, buffer. I'll show you that later. And these are some sharpening belts, ceramic, one hundred and fifty grit from uh, Super Grit, and I think they're in Pennsylvania. can't remember. There's so many true grits and super grits and this kind of grit. Gettysburg PA. And I got no no clue what this is. It's heavy at this end. It's heavy anyway, but I don't know what it is. It looks like <laughs> it looks like the knives I sent out yesterday to uh, Springfield or Alexandria or wherever it was I sent them. 
we we'll have to get into these in a minute and see what's in here. Stand by. I gotta go outside now. The boys are barking like hell. Once I cut into the box, I realized what it was. I sent four knives to a fellow Friday so he could have something to use while he sent me his four knives back. These are all Anata, Anita. It says entry level Japan. I've never seen any before, but they seem to be really nice knives. Entry cutlery, Onada, Japan. I thought they were cut goes when I first saw them by the handles, but they're not. There's a serrated one. A chef, a slicer, and a butcher. He lives in Smithfield, about 50. I don't know how far Smithfield is, 40, 50 miles from here. Oh, well, we got to add that to our little array of uh, things to sharpen tomorrow. But I'll be busy tomorrow. Super grit. I showed you these already. Ceramic 150 grit. Good price. I got them on sale. So I bought 10 of them. Well, actually, I bought 13. Let's go see what's in package number two. I mean, number three. Half by 20. Got screwed right onto the right hand side of my buffer. A little buffer. In there I can insert this quarter inch drive. I got three of these. This was the fourth one I should say. I got one from them to see how those were and I picked up three this morning at Granger's. I think I showed you. And I had to get these to get the sale over $25. Little Allen wrenches. Okay, that's all the packages. Santa has come and gone now for Rancho Max. You know, here's a roundup. That's the best of it. Two hours less made a lot of difference than it did today, yesterday. Two hours a day, four hours yesterday. That's what happens when you don't get to the spot on time. Tomorrow's a uh, iffy. You know, I got a lot of stuff to do, but some of it I don't have to have till Saturday. So I may get in the afternoon spin. Ties not low till like five. We'll see how the weather goes. Good luck to everybody.